and the cupcakes and the cookies and all those stereotypical things. And she had this crazy personality and, and she was so funny and affectionate and curious and, and all of these things that we associate with dogs, um, you know, and the animals we typically share our home with that to think of her on a commercial farm and what those animals are, are treated like and what they're used for was really eye-opening and devastating to me. I was not a vegan before Esther came into my life. And, and had you met me before Esther, you know, the thought of me ever being a vegan probably would have made you laugh right out of your chair. And, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'd fallen in love with a food animal that was living in my house. So that changed everything. There were so many animals that needed homes, and we were able to raise $440,000 in 60 days, buy the farm, and, and start Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary, coming up now in eight years. Something that really hit home to me, especially when I see Phil, who's our dog, you know, cuddling with Esther and sitting with Esther, is that the idea that some lives matter less is the root of all that is wrong with the world. And, and I think it applies in so many ways, it, you know, not only to Esther, but to the world in general, and just because we don't know them or understand them, um, doesn't mean that they don't matter and that they don't have a right to be here, whether it's pigs or people, you know, just because we don't know them or understand them doesn't mean that they don't belong and that they don't deserve the same love and protection that everybody else does. In Canada, depressed people, they don't deserve even help. They get offered euthanization. When I saw the, and heard these words for the first time this morning, it made me cry because we all qualify for euthanization downtown Vancouver, Canada. While there was a pandemic, our politicians were wondering how to kill us. And now they're going after the children and I don't even hear an outcry. I hear an outcry because they're taking maybe a bicycle lane away from Stanley Park. There was an outcry about that. But killing children, that's okay for the average Canadian.